Hey there, this is Natalie, and it's time for another late night radio style video. And once again, I'm going to be talking about REM. If you saw my last video about the ReZero love triangle and REM's love for Subaru, then this is the second part to that, where I'm going to talk about what the future might have in store for REM after the cliffhanger at the end of Arc 6. That means that unlike that video, this one will discuss Rem's status as of the end of Arc 6. I know a lot of people have already been spoiled, either willingly or not, about that, so I'm going to keep other spoilers from the ending of Arc 6 light, in case you are an anime only who has already been spoiled and are watching this because you're curious about theories around what might happen next. Though, I will have to talk in broad strokes about a plotline in Arc 6 where Subaru loses his memories. So you need to know that that's a thing that happens in Arc 6 to follow this if you're not caught up with the ReZero web novel. I did already make a video talking about the specifics of the situation in which Rem wakes up at the end of ReZero Arc 6 Chapter 90 and what could be going on there in terms of where they are and what could be going on with the other characters in that scene. And in that video, I did address the possibility that Rem doesn't actually have amnesia and instead doesn't remember Subaru because his name has been eaten. So you can watch that if you're a web novel reader and want to go deeper into the specifics of the Arc 6 ending and those alternative possibilities. However, in this video, I will be working on the assumption that Rem does have amnesia and talking about how Tape might use that to create some growth and character development for Rem. The idea for this video was inspired by a comment from one of my sweet, sweet subscribers, Jack Barucha, which I thought was a really good prediction about what Tape might do with Rem's amnesia. And he did give me permission to expand on the idea in a video. So shout out to Jack and thank you for being so awesome. Jack basically said that in the ReZero gluttony if route, which I also have a video about if you want to know what happens in that side story, things happened that made him think that maybe Rem would undergo a similar thing to what Subaru experienced with his amnesia. First thinking of the Rem everybody else knew as a totally different person from herself, who she could never hope to be like. Amnesia Rem would, as Subaru did, develop a kind of inferiority complex when comparing herself to the person people say she should be, thinking of the Rem Subaru remembers as a kind of amazing superhero that everybody wants back. This is exactly how Amnesia Subaru, who's also the Subaru of the Gluttony If, viewed the Subaru people like Amelia and Beatrice remembered. We don't know if Rem has her name back, or if she will encounter any of the other characters who were close to her, like Ram, while she's in this amnesiac state, or if it will be resolved before she and Subaru are back among the other characters. But for a Rem with no memories to hear what people like Ram and Subaru think of her, she would certainly develop a picture of someone extremely admirable. Of course, Rem, before she ended up in her Sleeping Beauty state, was already someone with a big inferiority complex at the core of her character. This is because Rem was the twin nobody in her Oni clan wanted, the sister of the reincarnation of the Oni god Ram, the most amazing prodigy the Oni had seen in a thousand years. Twins are already reviled by the Oni, seen as cursed children, due to only having one horn each rather than the usual two and Rem and Ram would have been killed at birth if Ram hadn't demonstrated the power of her single horn, even as a newborn baby. Ram was revered and was not only powerful, but also confident and wise to the point of being able to understand things about the Oni clan that the elders couldn't see, even as a small child. Rem was largely ignored, though some people perhaps resented her birth as it meant that their reincarnated god only had one horn. Ram loved Rem more than anything else, and Rem too was completely devoted to her sister, but Rem also had this overwhelming admiration for her twin, and the sense that all she could do that could matter in the world was to support her. 
This period in Rem and Ram's lives is explored in the prequel novel, The Only Sisters of the Hidden Village, which I'm making a series about. And part one is already out if you want to hear about what their childhood in the village was like, up to and including the witch cult attack, which is what the first part of the novel covers, before going on to show us Rem and Ram's life in Roswell's mansion and their quest for revenge against the witch cultists. But even without reading the prequel, we got enough of an impression from the stuff about Rem and Ram in season one to understand that even years after Ram lost her horn, leaving Rem as actually the stronger of the two of them in normal combat, as well as after years of Rem being shown to be the more competent at everything that was required of them as maids. It's said that Rem did 80% of the work in Roswell's mansion, with Subaru and Ram combined only managing 20%. Rem still saw herself as the useless twin of her amazing sister. Nobody else saw things this way, especially not Ram, but it seems that Rem couldn't see past the way things had been when she was a child, and the role she'd assigned herself as a support character. Rem's inferiority complex before she lost her memories was something people in the story, as well as fans who could watch her from the outside, really wanted her to get over. To see herself as as strong as she was without comparing herself to anybody else. To see that she and Ram now had different strengths and weaknesses anyway to when they were kids, and that in a lot of ways people valued, Rem was actually the best. And while Rem did get a lot of development in Arc 3, this was something that was not resolved about her prior to her being eaten. She's still trying to sacrifice for others and taking all of her pride in Subaru or Ram rather than herself, even in her final fight. It really seems like this is going to be something Tape will want to show Rem get over during the story, and it would be something that parallels Subaru, who also had issues with feeling inferior to his father. Subaru has had some big moments that made him change the way he viewed himself, Rem herself gave him the strength to stand up and keep going. He had a chance to look at his past and his parents and process all of that from the perspective he has now of someone who's grown a lot and who has new reasons to be strong in the first trial. And when he started to believe that all he could do to help people was just keep on dying, Satella told him to love himself more because people do actually care when he dies. Later in Arc 6, when he loses all of his memories from since he was summoned to the Rio Zero world, Subaru finds it impossible to understand how all of that development could have happened. How the person Emilia, Beatrice and the others knew was someone people loved so much and depended on, and felt like he was just a poor substitute for the person they really wanted. It wasn't until he saw exactly what his past self had been through, all of the things nobody else knew about, that he understood that the Subaru they admired really was just him with a load more experiences, that there was no magic secret that had transformed the useless person he thought he was into the amazing hero they all seemed to know. It was just what had happened through Subaru just pushing on and trying to do his best. The speeches from Rem and then Satella that made Subaru think about himself differently could be things Subaru himself might do equivalents of for Rem. Maybe having been told that self-sacrifice isn't what people want from him by Satella in the time when Rem was asleep will help him make the same point to Rem. But that alone wouldn't be enough to make Rem realize that she isn't just a substitute for Ram. I think seeing her former self and how she was viewed as an amnesiac and experiencing that same confusion at how she could have become someone so great that Subaru did, would be a way for this to be handled in the story, especially with Subaru there, who's been through the same thing himself. I think Rem will get her memories back, and as for how, that was something I already talked about in the video about the Arc 6 cliffhanger, so I won't go into it here because, as I said, I don't want to spoil too much of Arc 6 for people just watching this out of curiosity about Rem, but Tape has done enough to set up a way that they might be able to restore Rem's memories, and how quickly they can do that will depend on what else is going on, in terms of the various mysteries at the end of Arc 6. It could be something conceivably resolved in a couple of chapters, 
or it could be something they can't do for a while. So it will depend how long Tape feels it will be necessary for Rem to have amnesia to achieve what he wanted to do with that part of the story. I've talked here about how it could be used to develop Rem's character and resolve her inferiority complex, but of course the Rem amnesia plotline may well also be there for other plot reasons and for things in other characters' development, such as Subaru or possibly Ram, so we'll have to wait and see. But I personally don't think Rem will never have her memories returned. Because of something in Arc 6, it would be possible for Rem's memories to be handled a bit differently. So I could see perhaps Rem being restored and Krush not, but I do think Tape has created a situation where Rem's memories can be handled in a unique way, and that to me means it's likely he doesn't intend for the rest of ReZero to play out with a clean slate Rem. Though, I could be wrong, and that too could be pretty interesting, especially if the new Rem doesn't feel the same way about Subaru as the old Rem, and is actually a different person to the Rem people wanted back. If it takes a long time to restore Rem's memories, both options could actually be explored, with people spending a fair amount of time with a new Rem, but her still ultimately getting her memories back in the end. Whatever is done with Rem's memories, it will add to the pile of things Tape has had to say during ReZero so far, about just how much of a person is down to their memories, and it will be interesting to see where he goes with that with Rem, compared to with other characters who have had strongly memory-related parts to their story, which is actually quite a lot of them, but most notably, of course, Subaru and Amelia. So what do you guys think? Do you like the idea that Rem's amnesia could be used to help her development in terms of her inferiority complex in a similar way to Subaru? I really think it works well, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if this is something we see happen, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now that's the end of my couple of videos about Rem, though if you want more Rem, I will be continuing the series summarising the Only Sisters of the Hidden Village very soon. I am working on another video taking a deep look at the potential development of another character though, which I should have out very soon, and that's going to be all about Garfield. So look out for that if you enjoy these character focused theory and analysis type videos. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.